you very much, Frank. You know, in that first half, Louisville only trailing by three, but their star player, Bill Wagner, did not even hit a shot from the floor. What a job Tommy Amaker did on him with four steals. But a big first half for Johnny Dawkins and the Blue Devils lead not right now at intermission. And CBS Sports coverage of the NCAA Basketball Championship will continue after this message and a word from your local stations. Tonight's national championship game is sponsored by Mercedes-Benz, engineered like no other car in the world. And we're enjoying pictures tonight of Dallas from the blimp provided by Goodyear, whose captain is Don McDuff, the Goodyear Blimp America out of Houston, Texas. For Dallas, this has been the biggest basketball weekend in its history. And the host of the Final Four have given the players and their fans a Texas-sized welcome. Hello, Texas. Sure is good to see you again. Hello, Texas. Sure is good to see me, a friend. Ah, hello, Texas. Sure is good to see you again. Ah, hello, Texas. We want to welcome you all to Dallas for the final four. <laughs> Fun time down here, right, Ernie? Yeah. enjoy the final four and some of the sights and sounds this week at the final four in dallas by the way next year's tournament will be in new orleans a city that also knows how to show its visitors a good time we're at halftime here in dallas duke in front by three we will continue in just a moment recognizing your superb undergraduate career as a student and athlete and your continuing commitment to highest personal standards I am pleased to present to you the 1986 Theodore Roosevelt Award in recognition of your many contributions to this nation in congressional and executive leadership positions, including your service as its 43rd Vice President. Vice President. Teamwork, sportsmanship, trying hard, working hard, self-confidence, love of family. These are the lessons of sports. And I also happen to believe that they're lessons of a lifetime. Thank you for this honor. It means a great deal more to me than I can ever tell you. Thank you very, very much. This message furnished by the NCAA. Good evening, I'm Dick Stockton. CBS Sports is proud to announce that it will again broadcast the Pan American Games to be held in August 1987 in Indianapolis. It marks the first time the Games will be held in the United States since 1959. CBS will provide an unprecedented 26 hours of coverage as world-class athletes from North and South America compete in the gold medal events. Behind Johnny Dawkins, 15 points. Duke leads Louisville, 37 to 34 at intermission. We are just 20 minutes away from the end of another long season. And with that in mind, Brent Musburger has some thoughts on the state of the game. Here now with some highs and lows of college basketball. Throughout the tournament, we have focused on the joy and the spectacle of the games themselves. But there is a dark side to the story of college athletics. Widespread abuses that threaten to undermine the very game itself. Now that sad litany includes unethical recruiting practices, under the table payment to athletes, and perhaps saddest of all, a disregard for academic integrity that strikes at the very heart of a university education. Now for the last 18 days, we have seen much of the best of what college basketball represents. First, the quality and parity of the competition. No other sport provides as many dramatic endings. 
game after game comes down to those final hectic seconds, the buzzer beater. No other big time sport is as democratic. Time and again, we've seen small and unheralded schools challenge and even defeat the biggest and best programs in the land. Indeed, although Duke is playing for the national championship tonight, the Blue Devils had more than a few anxious moments in their first round game against Mississippi Valley State. Then there's the intense loyalty of the students, which gives them a powerful sense of allegiance that they'll maintain all their lives. And finally, we witnessed the unselfish stardom of Navy's David Robinson, who chose to forego the wealth and glamour of a pro career because of obligations to his team and country. Robinson, an excellent student too, represents the ideal. So the goal of being a legitimate student athlete is not impossible. Now there are encouraging signs, stiffer penalties are being handed out for recruiting and academic violations. That's a step in the right direction. But in the end, the burden is on the universities themselves, from the president, through the booster groups, through the athletic directors, through the coaches, and yes, each individual athlete, to clean up their own programs before it's too late. Leading Louisville, 37-34. Billy, let's go back and take a look at some of those keys that you pointed out at the top of the broadcast. Well, Brent, we thought that that backcourt duo of Duke was going to go ahead and have their hands full or possibly give Louisville a lot of trouble. And look at what happened. Duke, 21-4 in backcourt scoring. Just amazing that Duke would dominate to that degree. Now, rebounding. Both of these teams have been out-rebounding their opponents by over six a game. It's a Mexican standoff so far. Duke's Bulls inside against Louisville's jumpers. And then the shooting comparison. Here are those key matchups. Thompson and Wagner not doing anywhere near as well as Allery and Dawkins. 19 shots as opposed to six. So one half still to go. The battle for the national championship. And we will continue live after this message and a word from your local station. Puzzled about which airline has the best buy? Tonight's national.